Did you know that there's such a thing as gay gratitude? Gay gratitude. Gay gratitude. Hmm. Yep, friends, it's that time of the year where we get all grateful for each other. So I first want to say thank you for being you. You are awesome. You appreciated. Give me some love too, friends. Like this channel, share this channel, do what you do because we, this is not for me, we are tipping Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way for all LGBTQ teachers and students. And we are shifting the narrative with every click. Every click sends a word to these search engines that are way bigger than me that we are important, you are important, and that we are grateful for all people being who they are. So, yes, thank you. So, you probably figured out by now that gay gratitude isn't a thing. Officially. But. <laughs> but. You can't take the gay out of the person giving the gratitude. So, technically. Technically. Today we're talking about gay gratitude. Gratitude is awesome. And I want to plug a book I read years ago called Making Miracles in, Making Miracles in 40 Days by Melody Beattie. And it's a book that changed my life because it taught me, it showed me, and I'm sure I've learned this before, but this book, it stuck. You know those books that just stick in your head. It taught me that gratitude needs to come for the good and the not so good, for the easy and the hard, for all those things in between. And what you do with this book, Make a Miracle in 40 Days, is you, you and a collective group of people, and these are close friends of mine in Chicago that I did this with, every day, you share with them your gratitudes. And it's not, I just wanna say thank you for waking up this morning next to my husband and he's beautiful and he loved me and he made me breakfast and then I went to school and everything was roses and then people told me that I was great. Is that how your day goes? Because that's not how my day goes. You wanna know how my day goes? I got up in the morning and I was exhausted. And then I pushed through and I decided to have a little manly dance party with myself. And then my husband was a little cranky, but then he saw me and it was okay. And then we drove to work and then the kids were a little restless. And then I realized I was a little restless, so we had another dance party. And so on and so on and so on. And you realize that if I'm just being grateful for the things that are going well, the, thing, the good things, that I'm missing out on so many things in life because already I'm, first of all, I'm judging things, whether they're saying that they're good or bad. And second of all, I'm missing out on the wide spectrum of things in my life. So what you start doing is you say, I'm really grateful that I got in a fight with my husband. I'm really grateful that I couldn't figure out this lesson with these kids and they still don't get counting by twos. I'm really grateful that there was traffic today because it, it allowed me to listen more to this podcast I've been loving. I'm really grateful that I just burned the sweet potato fries because now um, they're extra crispy and I get to make a fun <laughs> dipping sauce so that no one knows how burnt they really are. And you don't even need to do that. You don't even need to put a positive spin on it. You can just say, I'm really grateful I burned the fries. And you just, there's something about gratitude that the moment you use it and the moment you send it, it like takes whatever it is and it loses its power. So I could be stuck in traffic and I'm like, I'm grateful for this traffic. And all of a sudden the traffic's like, what? I was here to piss you off and now you're being grateful for me? Fine. And gratitude just has this beautiful way of shifting things. In it. So that's what I encourage us to do today is send gratitude to the beautiful places and the dark places. Send gratitude to the wonderful and the what places because it shifts things. And if you want, read that book, Make a Miracle in 40 Days. Enjoy that book, do, do those things, have an accountability group of gratitude, but don't, don't trick yourself into thinking that you only need to be grateful for the, the beautiful things or have a gratitude journal where every day you write the five things that brought you joy. There's nothing wrong with that. But I challenge you and myself to go beyond that. Go beyond gratitude to gay gratitude and be grateful for all things. And guess what? I'm grateful for all of you. Even the people who are against this channel and don't like this channel and leave mean comments on this channel and put thumbs down on this channel. What? I'm grateful for you. You know what? 
because it's all part of this beautiful thing called life. So thank you. Thank you for being you. You are awesome. You are enough. You are appreciated just for being you because you are you. And Joel, weird hair today, Joel. I am grateful for you. <laughs> Those are the sweet potato fries. You hear that being going up? I am grateful for you because you are you. Even with burnt fries, you are you, Joel. You are loved. Bye, friends.